Hi everyone, it's Clyde again at Vibrant Soap, and today I'm going to do a remake of my pharaoh soap. That's pharaoh as an Egyptian pharaoh. And I'm going to show you this video because I'm going to change it up a little bit, um, just because I need something different to get my creative uh, juices going, and um, I'm happiest when I can do something a little different. So I thought I'd show you in the video. Um, let's get started too, and I've got a color tutorial for you. Okay, so starting off this video with a color tutorial, get a little bit of color on the page so you have something to look at. And this is um, a soap that I made before on my channel, you can find it. It's um, Pharaoh, um, as in Egyptian pharaohs. Um, and I have no reason to change the design um, because I really liked it the first time, but I think if I change it up, I'm, I'm less... Um, apt to get bored with um, the fact that I'm not exercising as much of my creativity, something I really need to do. So I'm starting off with a base of this color. It's like, I guess people would call it a tan, but it's got some warmth to it. And I'm thinking about my trip to Egypt and the colors that I saw there. And one of the things that um, features of that area of the world is the Scirocco winds that kick up the red dust so that's going to be the base color and what I did ahead of time was I made this to sort of simulate how the colors, the other colors are going to be uh, surrounded by that base color um, I'm going to have some light green it's a better way to kind of test out if the colors are going to work with each other and I encourage you to get a little um, packet of watercolors to play around with because it's, it's really a fun thing to do also. This one um, will not show up correctly on the video, but it is like a turquoise. So to mix that up in my limited watercolor palette, I mix a little green, a little white, and some blue. So I'll have that, also kind of close to an aqua. And I'm going to have a baby blue. I really love using baby blue. And lastly, I'm going to be using as the accent color some very dark blue that has a little tinge of purple in it also. In the soap, that's going to be like my defining color. So what do we have here is, um, like in my last soap, a mix of basically pastels, colors mixed with white, and some colors that are more pure because if the whole thing's pastel, I think it's just going to be sort of bland. So even like in an Easter type of coloration, and you have pastels of yellow and pink and purple and pastel blue, um, if you put a punch of darker color in there, it's going to accentuate the design a little bit more. So that's the tutorial for today, and then we'll get on with making ferro. Well, first of all, let me get the oils and the milks and clays all blended. May as well blend those while the lye is still not involved, so that we get things all nice and blended. Here's the lye and silk. I want a nice liquid soak of this, so everything for me is just emulsification. You remember what you saw me add was the pheromones fragrance. Smells great. Okay, so let's get the color going. Alright, so I've got the dark blue, it has a little bit of purple in it, like a sky blue. I really like this color I mixed with an ochre and a red oxide, a paprika color. This is my turquoise, and this is my light green. And I just want a little bit of all of those. I really want streaks of the color in the soap. I keep wanting to do that. And end up getting carried away and adding more to the colors. I'm going to add this 
earthy rich color to the rest of the batter, the majority of it, it's the base color. And hopefully enough. Oh yeah, that's a nice color. Okay, let's get the other ones going. Oh, and that's going to need a lot more. That's not going to do... Oh, maybe that's my turquoise. In which case I still want... It a little bit more bright. Okay, and I've just decided that I don't have any white in this one, so I'm going to make my sky blue a lot more lighter. These are the adjustments you make. Okay, these are ready. This is going to be another version of in in the pot swirl. And I want a kind of tight design. So let's show you how I'm going to do that. I'll start off with this light blue and this rich terracotta color is going to look nice. So I'm going to put it right there. Right there. And the way I'm going to get these tight color swirls is I'm going to pour right into that, like a funnel pour. Pouring right into that light blue from a distance. But I also want it to interact with the turquoise, so right here in the back. I'm going to drop that right into the terracotta color. I have this aqua. Well, not lastly, but my other green. That's going to drop right into that dark, looks like an indigo blue. There. There. Let's have that have its own space right up front too. That's going to go right in there. Right back there. And maybe some there. And there. Why not? Okay, and to get even tighter swirls, I'm going to go once around to this. Maybe in the center too. That'll make some nice, tight swirls of color. I have decided to get an external light to help brighten up up in here. I have a light is fine but it's right overhead so it's everything I do is going to get a shadow otherwise. If you ever want a sort of dark black in your soap but you realize later that that black is really too blatantly black you can do but I didn't add a little bit of blue, maybe a little purple, to sweeten it up a little bit. This is like an olive color. It's that turquoise. And finally the light blue. Maybe, I want to try some zigzags. I'll zigzag it on this end and then on the other. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so there's the top of that. So there's a better shot of ferro. And let's see what it looks like as we cut it. Okay, so let's cut this soap. How the swirl went. Wow, that's like 
a bullseye there. I never saw that before. Just never know what to expect. And let's cut the first real piece. The first one was a fake piece. Interesting. So remember the colors are a little bit more earthy. Added the blue just to perk it up a little. It's quite different than the first ferro soap I made. But I like those swirls. It's very concentric. I like the colors. Though I think uh, the scent, I think um, it's really unisex. It's always interesting to me with such a basically random kind of swirl how consistent that design is through the whole loaf so far. Starting to get some more variation now. So I really like this. What I want to say is a paprika color. I didn't want a bright orange, so I think I was successful in getting what I want. That's my favorite bar so far. That one's got a lot of stripes in it. You now some of you look for shapes in these soaps. So that's a lot of that red color. Ooh, look at that. There we go. Seems like the very end had a lot of that, um, this kind of thing. I don't know what to call that. Okay, so let me put this right out here and say goodbye to you for now. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soap. Thanks for watching. And visit the website somewhere like the second or first um, week in March 2016. I should have a lot of these on the website. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I really appreciate your comments. See you later. Bye.